Hey guys, what's going on? Um, my name is Yu Coffee. Um, I'm the one that posts this uh, technical analysis on AMC, and then I also uh, do technical analysis on BBY uh, mostly. But um, um, I was also tracking AMC, and then um, I think AMC is now uh, you know uh, you know getting into more a bull cycle. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, where we at where it's going uh, and then uh, I uh, I wanted to also show you some of the historical data that uh, I've collected uh, since 2021 so yeah let's get into it so first of all um, let me just walk you guys through um, you know with my post um, so this is sort of like what I was looking at um, so basically um, uh, let me just uh, show you um, a much more bigger pictures first and then I'll get into more much more uh, details I think that will be better so as you guys know, uh, AMC uh, start to um, uh, run after the um, the court uh, documents, uh, for, and, and then judge uh, made a decision that uh, you know she uh, rejected the uh, settlement date, um, the proposed settlement dates, and then the yes. So I think you know the, I think algo kicks in first, and then it ran about sixty two percent, which is great. Um, this reminds me of a 2021. I was also in AMC in 2021, um, and then uh, in 2021 January, uh, unfortunately, I I saw right before squeeze, so I remember that exactly. So you know, it just really reminds me of that. It ran an after hour 200% in January 2021, um, but I you know I gained a 500% in June, so you know which was great. Um, but that, so I think this is where we are. So, and then I wanted to show you exactly where we are going and where we at. First of all, uh, just to show you the bigger pictures, I believe that there's a cycle where there is a upper trend and there's a cycle a downtrend. In 2021, January, AMC got into a bull cycle. Um, and then that's why it ran about 140 days. Um, and after that, you know, you know, start to moving downside <clears throat> because to be entered the down cycle. Now, as you can see, we are now uh, going into a new uh, bull cycle for AMC and for, for some of the other mid uh, or small market cap. Um, <clears throat> also, one more thing to uh, show you, um, there's a moving average. So moving averages that I use is a uh, 200 moving average, which is, you know, I think everyone knows that's a golden cross if the <clears throat> candle touches it in daily. So, you know, moving averages here, the yellow one is the moving average here. And then the pink one is 360. So when the 360 moving average uh, is on top of the um, above the 200 moving average, and when the candle touches, that's you know that means uh, we you know the the stock is getting into a bull cycle. Um, as you can see, the clearly there's a yellow line here and 360 pink line coming up there. It touches when it squeezes and then start to run up, right? So that enters bull cycle, and that run about 140 days exactly. Same thing happens. Same setup. 200 moving uh, average is coming down here. And then uh, also 360 is on top of it. Uh, example of the uh, opposite side of uh, 180 days. So I use 180 days, which is a blue line. When this reverse and when the candle touches, this get into a bearish cycle. So that's what happened here. So now it's complete opposite here, right? As you can see. Um, so we are uh, getting into a bull cycle. Uh, and then I, I, I don't know how long it will last. Last time uh, in 2021, it lasts about 140 days between uh, January uh, to uh, June. Uh, and then I was tracking this one uh, because, uh, as you can see, in 2020, we hit the uh, bottom here, but uh, it kind of makes this sort of like a triple bottom setup, you know? Um, so uh, I was kind of thinking like, okay, maybe algorithm will use similar setup here, you know? Uh, it did, you know, I think it kind of did here in January, as you can see, um, it kind of like makes uh, sort of like a staircases upside and come down. A very similar um, algorithm here uh, they use and then I'll, I, I cannot say okay and then come back up come down and trying to come back up and then start shooting up this week right so um, it, it it's now uh, we got the long signal here so you know like I show you in the um, uh, my post um, yeah there's a long short long short signal here in 15 hours and long appears at the end and that's when we the when we start to see the run long short long short and we now see the uh you know run here so this is gonna be a very uh, mimicking uh 2021 new bull cycle um but as you guys know um you know robin hood and other brokers kind of stopped the buy button here and that's why it could have actually gone further but i think um it came it came back down right it crashed but uh, they start to uh, do another next cycle in June, you know, after 140 days. So I think those are the things that we wanted to kind of watch out for, you know. And I don't know if this, 
you know they're gonna do the same thing uh, robin hood already um you know got a lot of you know lawsuit because of the you know removing buy button at the time and retail investors i think won the case right i remember um uh, some truck driver he uh won the lawsuit right and then he won like you know 30k or 50k or something like that so i think a lot of people are watching this you know whole world is watching this so um yeah i think it will be a a uh, completely different scenario, but who knows, right? We trade in this uh, rig system, so we don't know what's going to happen. But uh, just to let you know, we are entering a bull cycle. I want to talk to you about the gap. I think uh, I've, I've watched some of the AMC YouTubers, but uh, people don't really talk about gaps quite a lot here. So I wanted to just, you know, touch on this uh, secondly, right? Um, so I, I told you about the, um, you know, what's going on here with a very similar setup uh, to where it's going. But instead of like making triple top, uh, it ran, right? So which is good sign. So it's gonna squeeze like AMC in 2021, similar bull cycle, but you know, but I have a feeling that uh, it could just, f you know, finish here rather than making this, uh, you know, another, you know, June setup, you know, like a two double squeeze. It could just uh, run like crazy and then maybe that will be it. Uh, the reason I say this because um, let me show you some data that I have in uh, from the uh, 2021. Um, this is uh, a short bar fee, uh, you know, from 2021. Um, so at the time, GameStop has the most, uh, you know, shorted uh, percentage, right? Which was about, you know, 200 percent, more than 200 percent. BBY has the next 80 uh, percent, and AMC was the third, and uh, it has about 40, uh, almost close to 40 percent, right? And then I, I now I believe that it's gonna be it's much higher than that. This is the cost borrow fee before May run, you know, sorry, the June run up. Um, this is 2021, uh, May 10th. As you see, the cost borrow fee is increasing. Uh, it almost doubled from here to here, from 26% to 48%. Um, and just this is just right before, one month before the uh, June uh, squeeze. At the time, I remember the highest uh, cost borrow fee uh, was about 100%, I think. It never went up to 1,000%. Uh, when you go to iBorrowDesk.com, uh, uh, you could take a look at what's going on with the cost borrow fee. Right now, it's uh, sitting at 990%, which is fucking crazy. Um, and it also touched 1000% before. So, I mean, this is definitely something, I mean, it's it just, it's a massive fraud. It, you know, I think they use the algorithm to just keep shorting and suppressing the price. But, you know, this cost borrow fee really tells the um, impact of it and then the uh how serious it's gonna get um so this is actually very serious guys uh, as you guys all know so um it could actually um i don't know the price can go like crazy so like i said you know june was uh had about i think a little more than 100 percent not as much as right now so you know it, you could see the totally uh, different um the the fee percentage you know the difference it, it was a, a lot lower and it still went up 500 percent from may to june uh and then when you imagine we have now sitting at the thousand percent and 900 percent you could imagine how much you could go right um so now we took a look at that let me talk about the gap here because um when like i mentioned about there's a, a downturn there's a upper cycle and then there's a downturn cycle now there and, and then 2021 uh, to june it was the bull cycle now we are entering new bull cycle um after after at the end of this uh, triangle panic formation uh like as, as same as here uh but uh, when they squeeze um they also fill all the gap that left uh from the downside uh, cycle right it also left the gap here so i wanted to touch uh based on this one um so we have a gap at ten dollars closely so right now um after the, the after hours run we are sitting at about seven dollars uh, 15 cents what you want to watch out for is the you know if this fulfill the gap i mean there's gonna be some you know volatility right like maybe some pullback but um you know watch out if they're gonna fill the gap and i do believe that it's gonna fill the gap very smoothly um, and their next gap is two twenty three dollars, so um, that's the next gap. And after that, there's no gap. So you know, those are two things that you wanna watch out for. Um, if they're gonna fill the gap at ten dollars and twenty four dollars, which I believe it will, because it all filled the gap when it squeezed. Same thing happened in GameStop. I wanna show you um, other stocks and what happened to when it squeezed. Same thing happened to GameStop. When you look at much more uh, weekly. Um, it will kind of show you when it you know when is the bull cycle and when is the downside um, the bearish cycle, 
as you can see, there's a time that there's a bull cycle and there's a downturn. There's a bull cycle, downturn. And then 2021 is another next bull cycle. As you can see, this is weekly. Uh, it, it 300 moving average is above uh, on top of the 200 moving average yellow line, uh, which is perfect setup. So, and then Ryan Quinn got in and removed his stake on August 30th. And that's when we start to see the run up. Uh, and that squeeze happened. So uh, when that squeeze happened, um, they feel all the gap that left uh, from the top of the gap was um, created in 2008, January. So all this gap uh, were filled uh, during the squeeze, um, not only AMC and even GameStop, right? So, you know, those are the historical data that we could see AMC, GameStop all filled the gap uh, during the squeeze. Um, let me show you another one, GREE, -E, Greenish, support.com uh, went for some uh, acquisitions or merger uh, stuff. And as you can see, all the gap here that were left before, um, it all filled the gap uh, during the squeeze. So, you know, those are some of the evidence that I can tell you that, um, you know, um, all the gap that were left, uh, you know, during the down downturn cycle, uh, those are can be filled uh, you know while squeezing so uh, those are the thing that you wanted to uh, watch out for so make sure you know watch out for the $10 gap and $24 gap and after that there's no gap so um, you know maybe you have to watch out the resistance line and then I think once we surpass this uh, new, you know all-time high I think this stock can easily go up to uh, you know hundred dollars possibly but yeah let's let's see how it goes cuz you know we can only you know see um, the gap could be filled because of the whole whole historical data but we don't know you know how does you know market will be uh we don't know what's the environmental um effects on us right because you know like last time you know some brokers can block the you know buy buttons or you know i don't know what's going to happen from the dtcc you know or finra so you know let's watch out for that Let's take a look at some of the indicators. Um, this is a uh, RSI, and then uh, I can only show you 12 hours because uh, daily uh, hasn't been updated yet. Uh, maybe I can do a uh, 15 hours. Um, so right now, uh, after our run, we have a very big spike. And when you take a look at 2021, um, this is the uh, RSI here in 15 hours. As you can see, um, there's a green bar appears, which means that it's pretty high, however, um, when you look at RSI uh, in 2027, uh, Jan 27, that's the uh, when the you know, hit the peak, right? So I believe that uh, it could mo move bar move up higher because there's a little pullback and then it could go up like this. Um, and then who knows? Because the uh, because uh, right now the cost of power fees and all the FTDs are extremely high, um, so I think this is not gonna be just like uh, 2021, right? So right now FTDs um, is very high, so all those FTDs have to be covered. Um, also, as well as uh, short, um, there's high short interest, cost of borrow fees. There's no really shares available right now. When you look at uh, June here, it's very similar. There's a when there's um, you know come upside and pull back a little bit, and then this will continue to go up here. Uh, right now, it seems to me that uh, it's kind of tracking the June area, right? Because there's a pullback here, so it could come up and then come down again. Maybe there's another pullback, and then uh, and then one massive one uh, that could go up higher, and after that it could come down. So yeah, you just want to watch out for the pattern. So I think it could mimicking the, the June run too. So yeah, you, you could uh, watch out for that. Let's look at the MACD. Uh, RSI MACDs are you know most commonly used indicators. Um, so you could take a look at you know what's going on here and how much it will go further. Um, so as you can see, this is the uh, uh, January run. Um, so this area is the January run. And as you can see, this blue and uh, orange line um, move all the way to the top here. Uh, and then when you bring this up, and then also you, you could create a line here and sitting where we had. So we are kind of about here, So which means that there's a potentially, if we kind of mimicking the January run, um, which I believe that it, it will be mixed with this one or it could be higher. We are still tracking this area, so I think um, if if it tracks uh, somewhere in the June area or even January, um, there might be a little pullback. You know, uh, when you look at June uh, run, um, it started from like this. So there's a jump, uh, there's a it went up here and then come back down. So there's a little like 20, 30 percent pullback before it start to run. So uh, you want to watch out for that. 
So it's not gonna be just kind of like, you know, steadily just keep going up. It, it could possibly is, but um, you know, just just uh, be aware of there might be uh, some pullback, you know, before the massive run. So um, just watch out for that. So we are sitting about here now, uh, which potentially could go up a little higher, um, but it could come back down if we kind of moving similar to June run up. Um, so this could come down and then come down a little bit. But you, what you want to watch out for is this one. This um, this is 15 hours chart. Um, this thing is already moving up here, so which means that this could potentially keep moving higher. So when there's a little pullback, uh, that doesn't matter because um, the squeeze. Uh, let me show you this uh, much more uh, this way. Um, th there's a divergence happening here. So when this line line is keep moving around here, but now line is you know pushing to the upside, and that's when you see the squeeze. Same thing happened in January. There's a di divergence made, and then January run, but this blue line. Uh, come down a little bit here though, but still it's kind of continued pushing this up. So, you know, and then the June uh, made all the way down to the um, the seven points. So, you know, you want to watch out for that. So, you know, we are still here. So which means that there's much more higher upside to um, to fill in. Uh, let's look at the TTM squeeze one last thing. Um, this is the daily. Um, daily, uh, it doesn't show up the chart. So let's look at the 15 hours or even 20 hours. Um, like, as you can see, the 20 hours we see this candle pops uh, because of the you know after hour run. So when you line up here from uh, to the uh, January, um, this this thing is sitting around here, which means that you know if we are mimicking the you know at January um, the run, there's still potential um, more upside to come, right? So it could go up to um, right now we're sitting here uh, Tuesday, uh, 17, 18, 19. So yeah, maybe like another four days to go upside, you know, possibly. Uh, but we don't know if this is going to mimic this one because there was a buy button removal on this AMC and GameStop and all their meme stock at the time. So I think we could mimic the June run up possibly or even even completely different algorithm. So let's mimic. Let's look at the June run here. So in, when you look at June run, uh, there's a, uh, this hits exactly on here and there's a little pullback, go upside and this, you know, start to climbing up. So if we mimic the June run, um, just be aware of some uh, a pullback before another, uh, you know, higher high, and then pull back a little bit again, and then go upside. So there might be a couple pullbacks here and there. Uh, so watch out for that. So yeah, I think this is gonna be very explosive. So you know, there still have a lot of rooms to run. So yeah, make sure you follow this uh, indicator called TTM squeeze on uh, Trading View. Uh, the best, uh, I think, the best is the, uh, uh, you know, look using at the daily. Um, I think daily is better, but daily is not updated yet, so that's why I'm using the uh, 20 hours. Uh, also, when you look at two days, it's clear. Uh, it's really give you clear idea how this making divergence, and then now it's making upside. So when this uh, light purple comes down, this is kind of like the short, right? This is coming down. When this start to transition to light uh, purple to a uh, darker purple. And then darker purples will change to green. So as you can see, um, it's kind of start to changing in here, you know, three days um, weekly as well. So yeah, it's very interesting weekly. Um, yeah, it's about to pop here. So uh, yeah, I do believe that this thing is not gonna uh, end really fast. You know, this could you know continue to move upside until September. Who knows? So um, but I'll I'll give you guys some update if there's any something new uh, that I'm looking at. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And then, uh, if you can follow, um, yeah, I will uh, post uh, more uh, stuff if you guys like this uh, type of contents and posts. So um, I'm getting almost almost 450 uh, likes. So you know, I will continue to. Uh, yeah, I, I got a lot of votes here, so uh, it seems like people are uh, finding this helpful. And I will be continue to uh, you know post when I see some new updates. Yeah, keep an eye on this. Yeah, I will see you guys uh, in next video for new updates. So have a good weekend, guys, and then uh, see you guys soon.